what is going on everyone welcome back to another episode i hope you're all doing well i hope you enjoyed the last upload of working on guy fawkes night as promised uh, what i mentioned in that video is a full review of the 50 rebels e-bike i feel like i got this bike and i didn't really talk about the specs and what it's got on it so a lot of people were asking so here i am today going through the specs of the bike showing you in depth what is on there and yeah a little bit more about the company and what they're producing out of Portugal. There are a few things that I do hate about the bike and I'm gonna be open and transparent about it. I'm fed up of seeing bike reviews on YouTube and they're like, yeah, nothing's wrong with the bike. It's a perfect bike. That's a big lie. And most of the time there, it, there are things that people don't like about the bike or things that are wrong and need to be improved. So for those of you that are new to the channel, the 50 Rebels brand, this is the 50 Rebels R2021 version. This bike is built and manufactured in Portugal. Most parts are handmade on this bike. The frame is handmade. This is hand welded. Also, the saddle is a, well, you can call this more of a seat than a saddle. Made and produced by 50 Rebels. So for those of you that follow my social media accounts, Instagram and also the community tabs, you know that I had to wait seven weeks for this bike to arrive. So I'll start off with the obvious and that will be the color of the bike that I've chosen. This is the black matte version. So at the moment they have four different color options. They have matte black, white, red matte and also green they have two different battery options they have a 15 amp hour or they have a 20 amp hour like i have got here it uses 21700 tesla size cells really really good cells for batteries and for those of you that know the cell types and the cell differences i believe tesla cells are one of the best cells that you can get on the market at the moment and the thing that makes the bike go is the bafang motor this is a 250 watt motor the bike weighs 28 kilos and some may say that is pretty heavy to be honest the weight distribution on this is quite good with the battery being up there on the front tube and obviously the hub motor back there it's pretty well balanced with the tires we've got some 20 by 4 inch cst megatane tires the first thing i noticed on this is the spokes are really really good i was worried a little bit about the uh, rolling resistance of the 20 by 4 inch but the tread on these tires, these are the ones that it came um, that came with the bike. I have got some V speedsters to go on here, but that is for more summertime. But I haven't had any issues. I'm hoping to get a little bit more range out of this bike when I put on the uh, V speedsters. We've got a uh, Shimano seven speed uh, up here. To be honest, I don't really change gears on here much. I pretty much leave it on the uh, on the highest gear. So, up here in the top left hand corner, you've got your BMS voltage. This shows you the voltage state of the battery. I believe fully charges 54.6 volts. Um, I think so anyway, I can't remember. But yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. You've got your power settings up here. So with this here, you can go up to eco, normal and the full speed would be power which is pass level five a set button here which you can toggle between the modes of the bike and this is the total mileage that i've done so far 313.8 miles comes with a really really good front light and i think this stands out quite a lot on the bike this is operated by pressing the on switch and yeah comes on like that Mud guards are metal, not plastic mud guards. Really, really solid. And I like the fact that they spent time to keep the quality going through the bike with some metal mud guards. These are mechanical brakes. You can get hydraulic brakes that they do offer, but you do have to pay a little bit more. What else is there? We've got the rear light, which is also operated by either pulling the brake lever or turning the lights on all together seat is really really comfortable i believe this seat is waterproof and yeah it is really really comfortable i was worried about the seat in position and if i was going to feel uncomfortable at all but honestly i've had no issues with this with this seat and i like the fact that i can sit 
here or I can sit further back. A few other things, this runs on a cadence sensor. So as you turn the pedals, uh, these are magnets here, which um, goes past this cadence sensor, which engages the motor. So this is the kickstand that is built in with the 50 Rebels. Um, really, really sturdy. It's obviously holding up 28 kilos. So you want to make sure you have got a good kickstand, which is, um, which is really good, yeah. Haven't had, I haven't had any issues with this bike, to be honest. The only thing I hate about this bike, and I fixed it myself, and I'll show you what it is. Under here, you've got the controller box, and all of the brains of the bike, so the computer and the BMS, and everything is inside here. This is where everything is. Every time I went over a small bump, literally it could be a pebble in the road i used to hear this loud banging noise i'm hoping i can find a clip from one of my previous videos before i fixed it but all i done was unscrew these four screws here and i put some 3m adhesive underneath the actual um unit that is inside here so it's basically a box inside of a box and it was rattling around like crazy and i i literally couldn't take it anymore um i listened to music on my Bluetooth speaker wherever I go but yeah that, that's the only thing that I hate about the bike another thing that I don't really like on the bike is the cable management way too much slack like I have all of this slack here I've tried to push it down as much as I can and it's, it's bad because they made a really nice job of keeping all the, the cables tied underneath this frame here but yeah they've just left so much on here that goes for the same as the brakes. I mean, this front brake cable here does not need to be this long, you know? Um, so I wish they they neatened this up a bit more, maybe just pull it all into one sleeve and yeah, get rid of some of this slack in the, in the cables because it's a bit too much. But they're, they're the only two things that I don't like about the bike. Now let's go for a ride. Not doing any deliveries today. But I have got some pretty good content coming very soon. All right, helmet on. We'll leave the visor off for now. And let's go for a quick cruise. So at the moment, I'm in eco mode, which is the first mode. It's also got a walk mode if you press and hold the, uh, the minus button on the bike. So I'm pressing and holding, and then we go for a walk, which is pretty handy if you don't want to push the weight of the bike. Um, it is a bit sensitive, so be careful on that if you are looking to get this bike. Yeah, the walk, the walk feature is pretty nice on e-bikes, and I think most of them have it nowadays. But yeah, let's go for a quick cruise around the park. All right, we're going to set in one. Get off this grass. All right, so this is eco mode. I'm getting a max speed of seven miles an hour on eco. Like I said, this is a 20 amp hour battery. And the most mileage I've got out of this so far is uh, 35 miles. And that was on a mixture of eco and normal mode. I very rarely use this in the top mode. Um, only if I'm on my way home or something like that. Bump it up to mode two. Go up to 11 miles an hour. I mean, from a start, from a standstill, it does take a few rotations for the motor to kick in. And that's just because of the cadence sensor there. So it takes about two seconds for it to kick in. I don't know if I'm meant to be driving down here. I'm going to do a quick U-turn. We'll go up the same way. Setting free, a bit more power. We're topping out of even 13 miles an hour. Try not to run the dog over. And then we've got so we'll bump it up to four. So this is the one that I normally go in. It's 14 and level five be the top speed of 15 miles an hour 
run out of space. We'll do another U turn. So yeah, that was a quick rundown of the 50 Rebels e-bike. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I know it isn't a professional looking review or anything like that, but it was just showing the actual specs of the bike. Because I think when I got this bike, all I'd done was, here's the new bike, and then straight away just jumped on to recording. I didn't really show it how I should have. Yeah, that is the end of the video. I've got some exciting, very, very exciting content coming up and the next few weeks are going to be pretty pretty good so yeah if you are new to the channel consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting that bell notification to get notified of when i upload until next time take care and i look forward to bringing you another episode very soon peace